Hello and welcome to another side play. Me, game O6 of I Promise. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it for free on Google, and then I got it from F95. You can check it out there. It's an H game site. Can't think of anywhere else you can get it. You know? So. And last let's play, we complete the game, which consists of looking at the notes, um, giving a present to Chris. Was it Chris? Um, I thought we gave the present to... I might have to re-look it up. Um, but... No, it was Vincent, right? Yeah, I might need to redo that. We gave it to the uh, Golden Retriever. And then we, um, oh, yeah, it says Vincent. But then we kissed Gabriel, or got kissed by Gabriel, because he's a joik. I don't know. I was like, what did we choose wrong here? Because we gave the present to Vincent, which I thought would make us get Vincent smoochies. But then, I don't know. So we were trying different things for different routes. Oh yeah, and then we restarted the game because I want to smooch all the boys. Anyways, just in my face. And begin. It was just for a short moment. I could see something unusual. Well, see is not the right word. Willing we'll glimpse of a small scar on his chest. Kevin? Oh. Right, we're rooming with Kevin. Right. It didn't look like an accident, accidental scratch or wound. Too straight and careful. Well, he could be one of those expert swordsmen with those eyes. Because let me think. Off the top of my head, there's that one guy from Kaiju Number 8 and then that other guy from Bleach. What a weird name to name a show. Also, the main character's name is Strawberries. What's up, Scott? Wrong room? I guess it's not the best time to ask about a scar. No, looks like we're roommates for this holiday. I asked a room for one. What? That's rude. Anyway, you'd get me. you get either me or Chris. Sorry. I apologize. It's not your fault. Do what you like. To be honest, I expected a warmer welcome from him. We're friends and all. Right? Or after all? Well, this will be more my home for a couple of days. Will be my home. I can read, I swear. I need to pull my stuff away and or put my stuff. The most important part. The test. The gay test? I flamp onto the bed with my entire weight. Checking its softness, springiness, and other important bed qualities. Like if there's cum on it. <clears throat> awesome. Are you still in your outside clothes? Uh, don't do that on the bed. Why does Kevin have to be so tedious? I should teach him how to enjoy the simple things in life. My vibrator's not on. I need to go for a while. On Kevin is way, I decide to check the room. It's quite nice to have two beds, two nightstands, and a large wardrobe for clothes. Above the bed, there's a large, beautiful painting with mountains. I think the two most comprehensive definitions of our room are cozy and comfortable. You can skip the knocks, the room is shared. Sorry, that's just me. Can I come in? You can come in any time, uh -oh. Anyways, sure, what's up? I was worried a bit because you were absent when we got back. Oh, that's right, Vince doesn't know yet. It's okay, I just got a bit lost, but Chris found me. You were together? Well, I mean, yes, we decided to walk off into the woods alone to smooch. Yes. That was what I said, right? Silence becomes almost irritating. McKevin returns to save us. Vincent? Oh, I came to ask Scott something. It's good you two share a room. So, Scott seems to be a good roommate? Of course. 
I've never had better. Um, it's embarrassing to hear such things about myself, especially from the guy that jerked me off. Sounds almost like an advertisement. Hello, I'm still here. Or hello, I'm still here. I can read. Or do inflections. Kevin laughs a little. And Vincent blushes. Wow, shifting his feet. Is this the route where he did get jerked off by him? And smooched? Looks like he he's also embarrassed. I should go to my room. Who did he will with? <laughs> Look at him blushing. He's cute. Uh, he looks somewhat down. Probably just tired. He went to look for you, after all. Great, now I feel guilty. I shouldn't have been so reckless. Let's see, is it Skippy time now? Skippy time. We get trees and Christmas. And that's, that was the thing, it's like we look for Christmas twee, we set it up and decorate it. There was something I totally forgot about in my bag. A small box tied with a red ribbon. Maybe I can click here. Yeah, that would work. Sorry for this little thing right here. It's like there's some big guy in the way. Big fella. Hey, no, wait, here. P please open it on Christmas. Tim gave it to me right before the trip. All right, the uh, mouse guy. I wonder what's inside. I should buy something for him too. I'm glad that, after all that's happened, he started to twist me. Looks like he doesn't have any friends at school. Today ended so fast. But tomorrow will be lots of fun. A warm bed embraces me. It's so nice. Yeah, especially compared to Texas bed, where it's like, hmm, I'm gonna get under covers, and they have, like, you know, the little bit of fabric and then the duvet you know the quilt or whatever it is not the really thick one but anyways and then you wake up in the middle of the night swimming in a pool of sweat and you're like oh yay don't forget the mosquitoes that's why i always bug my parents at my dad's place to please close the door and sorry for this divergence but it's like they're gone for a month barely a bug inside the house the day they get back we get three mosquitoes inside the house and it's like my dude you complain about the air conditioning being running if you have the doors open what do you think's come happening air conditioning goes out mosquitoes come in hiya anyways that was a jackie thing but you know true kevin decides to go to bed early too jackie chan vanishes was great i'll turn off the lights hmm a text from vince I've only we've only seen each other a few minutes ago. Oh, it's a penis. David tried to sneak into the girls' room. Hell yeah, he failed. Oh hell no. Try to reconcile, invite them to us. No luck. Now he just sits on the bed and pretends he's not disappointed. Who's David? Maybe just some random person. Seriously, what if he he's really disappointed? I'll just jerk him off. It's impossible. You just don't know him well. And that's for the better. Is he that bad? Not really. He's just a dramatic actor by his soul. Must be fun though. Kevin is so quiet. He's already sleeping. I'm going to too as well. Sorry, I didn't know you're in bed. Good night. Sweet dreams, Vince. Smooches and hugs. I woke up some time ago. Where? It's too cruel to wake Kevin. I guess I'll take a stroll around the building. If they don't turn the lights off, it would be beautiful in the hall. But if they don't turn the lights off, it would... Oh. Speed run. About Ghost Child. I wake up to bright sun rays falling down on me through the window. I feel surprisingly vigorous. Who? It's no wonder when so much fun awaits you. God, I'm thinking about myself again. Surprisingly, Kevin woke up before me. Or even before me. He sits on his neatly made bedding, reading, uh, reading something. I swear I can read. Good morning. Do you usually wake up early? Good morning, Scott. Something like that. Yes. It's often hard for me to wake up early. But today, I just can sleep in. I'm so restless. 
I want to do everything I can today. It's nice that you're so enthusiastic. Aren't you? I'm not really into Christmas. All that. All that? Outdoor activities? But you came here. You shouldn't miss the chance. There's no snow in your city even. I didn't want to come. Why is he saying that? I'm sure it'll be super fun. Are you going to go skiing in such a mood? I'm not going. I'm not interested. I'd prefer to stay here. Hmm, we need to persuade him, but I was just wondering. Yeah, we lost all of our saves for some reason. At least we still got our bonuses, you know? Though, does that mean we only get to smooch three boys? I mean, that would be like... The two boys you can romance in the previous game, and maybe Kevin? I don't think there's anyone else, though. Because there's this one. Though it doesn't so much the smooch, and I think that's rude. Well, we'll try and persuade him. Bring him into the Christmas. It shouldn't be like this. We didn't come here to be shut-ins. Nope, not gonna happen. We need to go skiing. Haven't you seen the gondola? Just think about the view up from up there. I don't want to scat. Don't worry, it is alright. It is just how I am. He seems to be hiding something. Oh, come on, you'll like it. I'm not good at skiing. And you'll leave me behind. It's not about the speed, it's about company. I won't leave you behind. But no furries left behind. No buts. Oh. We'll go up the hill after the breakfast. Deal? You know, you can be really persistent. Or, rather, annoying. Deal. Speedrun. Hmm. Staying queue this time. Well, I guess it's nothing serious. Finally, our turn comes. It's funny how nobody joins our group. May have something to do with Chris fighting, fighting aura. I thought it was fighting aura. But he does have fighting aura, you know? Have you ever been on a gondola before? Or gondola. Yep, when I was around six, I remember I was really scared. But it was so impressive that my fear disappeared after a while. I haven't. I'm new to all these window activities. Really? You should look down then. It's so beautiful. What about you, Chris? Yeah, yeah, me too. So cold. Is he in a bad mood? What about skiing? Do you like it? It's fine, but I'd rather choose snowboarding. Whoa, cool. I'm not very good at it. I always sway to the to one side. Is that what you're supposed to do? I can teach you. I can't snowboard at all. Do you like skiing, Scott? I do. But I'd like to learn snowboarding too. Not this time around. We're doing different things. Anytime. So, you've been wait, you've been to such a place before? Yes, with my mom when I was a kid. We spent great weekends at ski resorts. She looks so awesome on skis, like a true professional. Parents always look cool in their kids' eyes. Oh, come on. I'm sure you'd be impressed too. S so, it is your first time being by yourself on vacation? They also have skiing a skiing rink. Should we go see it too? Sorry, I'm doing that thing that I unfortunately I could compare to a certain political candidate on a stage where I'm like, I freeze and then I freeze some more. And also, I just think about that one guy being like, yeah, he seems to be doing lots of pauses, which brings you out of things like, eh, but, eh, eh, eh. you know, I'm trying my best. Reset face. They ask questions simultaneously. It's hard to decide who to answer first. Yes, but it's fine. I'll have a good time with you guys. And of course, we should go to the skiing rink. We have to visit everything. I think so too. We shouldn't miss the chance. Miss the chance? We have a full day tomorrow. To do it again. Why not? I'm not really interested in skating. Well, Scott is. Ooh, someone's vacation is all about Scott, huh? What are you talking about? 
I didn't mean it anything like that. Oh, really? Your boyfriends or something? Stop that being selfish. You need to share Chris with... I mean, a uh, Main character son with everybody. I've forgotten his name. This is men's talk, if you haven't noticed. My name is Kevin, and I'm man, if you haven't noticed. Oh, man. It's getting too stuffy in here. Why can't they just relax and have fun? Chris, stop picking on others. You always want to make everyone to get get along around you. Cute Scott is cute. <laughs> call me cute. Don't call me cute. I'll boop ya. Enough. You told me to enjoy the view, but this bad atmosphere is ruining it. Conversation stagnant at this point, and we all start to look out of the windows. The view is really awesome. It's good that Chris stopped being such a kid. Why does he even pick on them? I was sure he considers them his friends. I don't want to think I was wrong. Skip. There was this song again that seems... I don't know what would be the thing to call it. The vista on the peak is unlike anything I've ever seen. It's like I'm looking down on the whole world below. The crisp air burns my lungs. Renting gloves was pretty easy. Vincent and Kevin took skis, but Chris chose a snowboard. I can only use skis, but I really would like to learn snowboard too. I need to decide, skis. I promised Kevin I wouldn't leave him alone. I shouldn't take take the same as he does. Oh yeah, I guess I guess I'm the only one to ride the snowboard, cause I'm the cool guy. Gonna flip the his out. How about a little competition? I can give you a head start. Head start? I'll run you in a jiffy. I'm not so sure about that. I'm bad at skiing. My generous offer is still standing. Chris grins in a good way. He's a true sportsman, and his eyes shine in anticipation. And how do you want to compete? A simultaneous start with four people, and whoever survives wins? If you really want to compete, it's better to do one on one. Who's going to challenge me? I guess Vincent? I really went to, but I promised Kevin I'd stay with him. It was my idea after all. I... Vince didn't let me finish. I challenge you. Seriously? I hope you get it. Good luck, Vince. Show me what you've got. Chris gives me a pointed glare. Did he want me to cheer for him too? Sorry, Christopher. Not this time. I don't know why I have a hard time saying Christopher. It's a Christopher turn. Now we're rivals. The guys got real got ready at the starting line. Three, two, uno, go go go! May the fastest win, and they're gone. Hey, Chris, go! Head start, Scott. Head start. Enough. Just go already, or. Our victory will not be fair. Or won't be fair. You said you're gonna win. Christopher smirks at me and begins this descent. Jackass. The oldest gain in speed surprisingly fast. The scent is fairly long, so it's not to our advantage. I believe it's less tiresome on the snowboard, but that might be my imagination. I hope you put on the skis. I'm afraid it won't be much fun for me. That's not the case. Don't worry about it. Alright, all set. How does it feel? Very... unusual. Like, something heavy is stuck on my feet. We chose the track for beginners. Kevin sways and suddenly the first time... the first time five minutes after he starts. He doesn't fall, though. Are you having fun yet? Not really. It's fairly difficult, but thanks for asking me out. I like the view here, and the fresh air too. You know, I might be just imagining things, but are you okay? Kevin stops for a moment. He seems, it seems I surprised him. You're very perceptive, aren't you? It's a good quality, 
but it might be troublesome. If it's about my friends, I don't mind it. He smiles at me with a sad expression. I want him to help to shake him off his fears. It's so beautiful around. Come on, relax. At first, I didn't want to come here. Now, it's alright. Thank you, really. Ken's voice becomes warm and the mood changes slightly. I feel like it's more friendly now. Try this? Still, why didn't you want to come? I want to say I'd rather spend Christmas at another place. But it's kind of childish. It's weird seeing his eyes, it's like, ah! He has eyes! It isn't just slits. I patiently await while he continues. For the last few years, it's been just me and Michelle. I got used to it a lot and didn't want to let her go. I think Michelle is his younger sister if I recall. I'm worried of course, but mostly it's just petty jealousy. What a stupid reason to ruin the mood. I hope she has a lot of fun. It's not stupid, it's cute. In the past, I also spent Christmas with only one family member. I know what you mean. But it's also fun with you guys. No need to be sad, right? Yes, you're right. Was it your mother? Yeah. It's stupid, isn't it? I know, I shouldn't be jealous. Jealous. I wish her all the happiness, and... Damn. How do we end up like this? I'm embarrassed. I don't want to complain about this. Where did Michelle go? To her parents. It looks like I have a habit of getting myself into other people's personal business. Kevin is on good terms with them. They don't live together. I wonder why I didn't go with his sister. Should I ask? I think it's better to change the topic. Ugh, it's cold. I got lost in my train of thoughts. I didn't notice when I wandered off, off the track and fell into the snow. <laughs> Scott, stop daydreaming. You're supposed to teach me, remember? I embarrass myself again. I'm good at skiing, Kevin. I'll show you. I'm a good teacher. I'm awesome, actually. Heh. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just kidding. Michelle is just a kid. She needs parents. It's all for the better. I'm sure he needs them, too. But I won't say that. He did the right thing. When is she coming back? Two days after us. The guys aren't kind of late. I thought they had a race. How did you mention it? Let's go check on them. We found them at the end of the track. They look irritated. I had hoped that they'd get along better after spending some time together. They nosed us. Cheers for the winner! Did you win? No, Vincent did. Hooray! Next time, you know better then give us a head start. Congratulations, Vince. He becomes embarrassed and scratches his head. It wasn't easy. But you made it. Don't like just yet. I'm right at your back. Uh, ooh, ooh. Sounds like a poor threat. That sounds scary. Just checking the audio. Does someone want to try himself? Do you want to lose again? I like your attitude. Remember my face, because soon you'll be you'll only be able to see my back. We'll see about that. Hmm. Skippy. Brown. I wonder if leaving him be would be just that stuff. It's fun to watch him. I shouldn't interfere. Maybe they'll become friends. I quickly understand. That I can't just stay and watch. Whoop! Shit! Sorry, I was trying to do something and then I tipped something over. Whoops! But don't worry, nothing broke. I think. Just watch. I joined the game. Chris drops me. Invented toys. He's eager to skate fast and show off instead of starting slow. Maybe he's hopeless. Soon, more classmates, who unluckily came to skate, 
join our Fall with Chris game. Eventually, return to the all cold but happy. Zoom. Scary stories. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're at the 25 minute mark, so I guess it's a good time to call it ish. Boop. It's weird. Like, I checked other games. I haven't checked all the other games, but I checked some other games. And this is the only one that seemed to have lost the saves, because it was here. And then I clicked here, and then it was like, the saves are gone. I was like, uh, what happened? But, yeah. I guess cleaning the cache removes it. Which is sad. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, the end of this let's play. So please comment hey, side play. Comment get yeah, a like, comment, seventy like dislike. Tips tricks otherwise if you like me too and like it well, then please like, subscribe and share the video up. The crown please remember my new and must have control the pet population. And if you want to play this game, it's available free. On F ninety five, you're looking at just put into Google and it'll come up. Granted it's an H game site too. Just saying. I guess it's like yeah, a bunch of things are H E, you know? Um yeah, I think that's everything. So yeah, until next time. No, no, the side play. Me? Game of six of I promise. A game where you promise to get a dead child's present to his mother. That somehow survived in the tree for like ten years ish? I don't know. Maybe twenty. So thanks to see ya.